Okay, guys, now in this uh, recording here, I'm going, hopefully I can, I'm going to be uh, dropping you some serious nuggets of information um, <clears throat> so you understand what you're getting into, if, whether you already uh, have this software running or um, you're, you know, just collecting uh, information, doing your due diligence, okay? I want you to know what to expect, um, the ups and downs, how it works, um, a lot of information I'm going to give you here, okay? So uh, right now... <clears throat> This is, um, uh, I have my MT4 chart open uh, with the Titan software by Blue Edge Financial. Okay, that's what we're talking about here. Um, and I've only been in for three and a half days. I, I just want to say that right out, right off the bat here. I've only been in for three and a half days. I believe it was Tuesday morning, uh, like 7 a.m. Tuesday morning that I got hooked up and it started taking trades right away. Okay, and <clears throat> right here, um, it's really small anyways, but... I, I had the MT4 closed. I opened it back up, and it's not online right now because the market's closed, by the way. This is Saturday. The market is closed. So the good thing is I took a screenshot of the numbers, okay, before the market closes, about a half hour before the market closed. So pretty much everything will be accurate. So I'm going to go over those numbers <clears throat> in, uh, in a minute with you, okay, so you understand how it works. Now, the reason I want to do this video now is because I want to show you there's a lot of things that you need to understand, um, you know, when it comes to trading. The, the biggest thing is not to let your emotions get involved. Um, if, uh, if you're getting too stressed out because, you know, you have negative trades, in fact, I'm going to try and move. Hopefully you can see this down here. You can see I open trades. Uh, I'm negative $81. Now, I'm going to show you over here. This is a live account. Okay, this is real money. See right here, live account. Okay, uh, I open it with $700. <clears throat> Now, in, in fact, let me go ahead and show you the, um, the numbers, uh, and, and then I'll come back to here. Okay, here we go. Now, this is, um, this is what you couldn't see. This was in, in that little box, and like I said, the numbers weren't there because uh, I closed down my MT4, reopened it, and it's, you know, being the market's closed, uh, it's not online. The server's not online, so it didn't, uh, uh, these numbers didn't pop back up. But this is the same account, okay? Let me blow it up. There we go. And you can see here, Titan, okay? Um, now, I wanna show you, I've only had a total of 76 trades so far, and um, I currently have 29 trades open. That's the drawdown, you see the negative um, $80, okay? Uh, 25 buys and four sells. This is the overall record, 65 wins, 11 losses, with a win rate of 85%. This is very important, okay? This is what I wanna stress. Uh, I believe <clears throat> over three years of back testing, it averages around 75%, which is amazing. Okay, um, with this software, every software is different. With this software, basically, um, in case you know, I'm a numbers guy, so I, I've I've done all these uh, calculations and everything. But from what I've seen, you need a 66%. You need to uh, win two thirds of the trades to break even. Anything over that, you're basically profiting. <clears throat> and the reason for that is because. Um, when, uh, when you win a trade, or should I say when you lose a trade, you're losing uh, typically twice as much as you win on a winning trade. And that's normal. In fact, a lot of times you, you lose even more than that. But with this software, for every losing trade you have, you need two winning trades to counter it to break even. So that would mean you need to win two out of three, which is 66%. So as long as this stays over 66%, you're good. Uh, like I said, over three, three years of back testing, it's 75%. So over time, chances are this will go down. I still have a small sample. Like I said, total trades, only 76. That is nothing, nothing. Um, you need a good four to 500 trades to really get an idea. And that's about a month's worth. I would say, to get an idea um, of your, where your numbers will be and then wherever you're at at that point, it shouldn't vary that much from there. Uh, reason I bring this up, <clears throat> I was very fortunate I got in and in three and a half days, you could see here, um, total profit, $144. This is a $700 account, guys, okay? $700 account, and look at here. Account balance, 833. I made 100, uh, basically 133. This, I think, is without commissions. $133, my account is up on the bal in, uh, you know, balance-wise in three and a half days. That is insane. That's 18.5% profit in three and a half days. 
Is that going to happen every week? Absolutely not. In fact, I might give some of it back with those open trades that I was showing you. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but uh, the bottom line is um, you need to let the software do its thing, ride it out. If you do not, if you don't plan on sticking with this for at least one or two months, don't even bother. I mean, I don't want to sound harsh, but don't even bother because you're not going to get an accurate reading of the numbers, okay? And the reason I say that, <clears throat> those open trades, for instance, are in the negative. What if, uh, you know, I could have easily set up my software right at the time um, of, the, of those negative trades. So I could take a 15, 16, 20% loss instead of an 18.5% gain. I could start off the week minus 20%. But see, I know the markets. I've been in this for a while. I've, I've run you know, dozens of softwares in the past. I know it's just a numbers game. You have to give it time and let the numbers speak for themselves. Get it a big enough sample so that you can um, you know, be in a profit. So that's where I'm getting at. It depends on where you're at in the cycle. You might come in during a winning streak. You might come in during a losing streak. I came in on a winning streak. I was, I'm up 18.5%. So I have 18.5% cushion where, you know, even if I lose 18%, I'm still even or up, okay? So that's important. That's important to have your mindset there. If you're getting stressed out with, um, you know, your open balances being in the negative, then one of two things. One, you have too much money. At, uh, you know, you, you funded it with too much money. You're, so you're getting, you know, you're letting it mess with your emotions. Or two, uh, maybe you have it too aggressive. You need to be, you, your risk tolerance isn't as high as you thought it was, okay? And you need to go more conservative. I, uh, just so you know, I have this on aggressive at 1%. 1% means, I'm going to show you that in a minute. Yeah, okay, pretty much done with this. I'm going to go back into my VPS, my, my MT4 here. Open up my software inputs right here. Use percent of balance. True, I'm using the percent 1.0. That means every trade that's open is risking 1%. So if I lose that trade and it hits the stop loss, I will lose 1% of my balance, approximately. If I win the trade, because you win less half the amount that you know is when you lose basically you win a half a percent so i'm on aggressive so for every winning trade my account's going to go up half a percent for every losing trade it's going to go down one percent <clears throat> okay and like i said hopefully i can move myself over here and you can see here in the balance it's minus 81.64 this is the open trades these are look at i'm gonna scroll up here let's see i don't know why it's not moving it's not moving. Ah, anyways, um, oh, it's kind of, oh, that's because I have this open. Hang on a second. Um, anything else I want to show you here? Uh, not really. You can see here maximum spread. Um, this is, they, all, they give you all this information. Uh, you really don't need to touch anything. I put this to 20, 20 points, which is basically two pips. Anything over that on a spread, you need to get a different broker. This will not be as effective. Uh, I use the recommended broker. It's been awesome. It just so happens I've been with this broker for years. I love them, so I already had my account set up, so it was even better. I, I was going to use them anyways. So it was just uh, kind of a confirmation when they recommended it. I said, okay, I'm doing the right thing here. So let me go ahead and close this out. Now I'll show you here all the, see, these are all the open trades. And they're almost all in the negative. $2 here, $3 here, dollar here, totaling minus $81. Even if... Every one of these closed out right now at a loss. My equity would still, that's my equity. That's including open trades at 751. I'm still up 50 bucks in three and a half days of trading. <laughs> that's crazy, guys. It's still crazy. Um, and you can see here balance 833. Just to show you the numbers coincide with the screenshot that we were just looking at. Okay. So basically what I'm getting at is you need to give it one to two months, get a big enough sample because you might come in, you know, it's all about timing. You could come in a day after a day after me, you're in the, you're down and I'm up. It all depends on uh, what happened prior to, you know, if you're uh, start off with a winning streak or a losing streak, let the software do its thing. Um, these all these lines you see here, these are all the trades that are open right now. Now the market's closed. That's why the chart's not moving. It'll open back up tomorrow at uh, uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time, my time. But uh, I just wanted to show you all this. A couple other things. Uh, what I really love about this software, and I've run a lot of softwares, okay? Um, you'll notice here, the lot. here's the lot size. They're almost all the same, 0.03 and, and some 0.04s. 
I might have 1.05, but for the most part, I think I see, yeah, 1.05 in there. And the rest are 0 0.03, 0 0.04. That is an awesome sign because uh, a lot of these so-called AIs, which are total crap, they're not AI, okay? Um, all they, they use a martingale uh, or an embellished martingale system where meaning every, when you're losing a trade, it'll put another trade in and another trade and each time it puts another trade in, it'll increase the lot size. And you just get more and more into deeper and deeper waters until eventually it turns in your favor and hopefully you get out in the profit. Problem there is it works until it doesn't. It's only a matter of time before you blow your account. And that's exactly why that happens. Those softwares also usually only uh, hit about uh, 50 to 60 percent win rate. They're, the reason they make money is because they keep increasing. They, they have that progression in their trade size, and that's dangerous. That is reckless trading, okay? This I absolutely love because they're all pretty much the same lot size. They're independent of each other, okay? They're all separate trades. They all, all have their own stop loss and take profit. That tells me a lot. And the fact that it's hitting over 80% in over three years, it's hitting 75%, that means that it's not just picking a side, you know, flipping a coin, picking a side, and then just, you know, continuously putting in more trades until it finally gets out of, the, you know, uh, uh, in, in, into the black, into the profit. It's actually making high probability trades with true artificial intelligence. It picks these trades for a reason. Okay, you can see here it shot way up. It started jumping on the wagon on the buys, but then now it's currently coming down. The market can do anything when it opens tomorrow. It can consolidate and stay, go sideways for a while. It might keep going down, then these might stop out. It might take some losses. Or it can go up in a profit, and I can, actually, I can make it 40, 50 bucks or more on my first day. Anything can happen. Um, and you guys, of course, I have to say past profits, you know, don't guarantee future results. This is trading. OK, and this is not financial advice. OK, I just want you to understand how it works um, for you newbies out there that, you know, you hook this up and you just want to make money in your sleep. Um, you, you really have to take your emotions out of it. If you're getting stressed out, reduce your um, your risk. Uh, or even trade with less money or trade on a demo, you know, trade on a demo. I went in with real money right out the gate because um, I liked what I saw. I looked at the history, which we're going to get into in a minute. And, um, you know, I, I, I just have this thing with demos. I'm not a big fan of demo accounts. Uh, I just think that they, they behave differently. The latency is different because it doesn't actually have to fill the order. It's not real money. So I'm always a fan of even even if I just put a hundred bucks in, I would use I like to use real money from the beginning. And like I said here, this is 700 bucks. Okay, I did write some things down. I want to make sure we understand. Um, oh, now compounding. Okay, this is important. So um, if you're at a higher risk setting, it's going to compound better. And here's why. Uh, now, I'm not telling you to, to do high risk. I'm just telling you if you're at a more conservative setting, it's going to grow slower. One, you're getting a less return. And two, it's not going to compound. You know, the compounding occurs when these lot sizes go up. As your account balance goes up, the lot size will go up. Okay. Now, if you're at an aggressive setting, like here at a $700 account, well, now it's 800, it's doing 0 0.03 and 0 0.04. So basically, for every $150 to $200, it'll go up 0.01. So if you're in an aggressive setting, you're going to make that $150, $200 quicker. So therefore, it's going to bump up to 0.05 quicker than if you were in a conservative setting. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, and another thing that's greatly going to have an effect on your compounding is the size of your your deposit your initial deposit if you start with five hundred dollars it's not going to it's going to take longer to compound because it, it's going to take longer to get uh, you know, to make 150, 200 dollars, that's that's 40 percent increase. It needs to be up before it goes up 0.01, you know, to, to compound, give you that compounding effect. If you're trading with fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars or more, you're going to compound a lot faster because now you're going to be making that 150 bucks a lot faster for it to go up to 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07. Maybe every few days it's going up. So the compound, a lot of people don't think about this stuff. This all comes into play when it comes to your account, your account growth. I'm not telling you to put in more money. 
uh, you always only use risk capital, make sure it's money you can afford to go without, but I'm just telling you how it works. So if one person's account grew, you know, by 80% and they had the same settings as you, maybe they started with a bigger balance and therefore their compounding is working for them a lot faster, um, which is fine. You'll get there. If you start small, don't worry about it. It's just something good that you know that you have to look forward to once your account does get to that point. Another uh, word of advice is if you can, if you're at a smaller balance, uh, say under a thousand dollars, um, if you can afford to pay the subscription without taking out of your account, I would advise that at least for the first month or two because that's greatly going to impact your account growth as well. You know, if you only make $250 for the month on your account and you have to take $150 out for the subscription, you know, that's more than half of your profit. You know, so now you're not, your account's not growing as quickly where if you can just uh, shell it out for a month or two and let it keep compounding, Again, not financial advice, just telling you um, that's kind of common sense, I guess, but it's going to grow faster. If you're starting off with 1500 2000 or more, um, then yeah, you know, you're making, you know, you might be making six, seven, eight hundred dollars in a month. So yeah, the $150 isn't going to make a break. It's not going to affect the account that much. Okay. Um, let's see. Now I'm going to go into the history in case you don't see this on the website. This is impressive. Now, mind you, this is, this is the aggressive setting. I'll go into the other ones in a minute. This is a three-year back testing at the same setting I'm using, the 1.0, um, um, using 1% per trade, okay? And I just want to show you what it's done over three years. This is absolutely astounding. Now, this 14.82 is <laughs> million percent, ridiculous, okay? Your account grew. This is a $1,000 account. If you were to keep compounding the entire thing, for three full years. Now, again, this is back testing, meaning the software wasn't live, wasn't trading for three years. The software is relatively new, but these are the real current market conditions. This has taken the real, the, the real data over the past three years of what the Euro US dollar did and putting the, applying the software and showing what the software would have done had it been uh, you know, trading for this three years. Okay, and it's always good to do these back testing before you do any strategy, before you employ any strategy. Okay, but um, you can see here it has an average daily profit of 1.08% per day, five days a week, monthly, over three years, 38% a month over three years, average and 38% a month. Peak drawdown, the most it ever got into drawdown, 43.79, 44%. That is nothing for the returns it's gotten here. I'm going to show you down here the history. Look at this, 2019, there were, look at this. This is absolutely insane, 111%. March of last year, it would have made 111% in one month. Look at this, 68%, 61, 68. These are ridiculous no losing months. That doesn't mean there's not going to be losing months. In fact, in 2018, here's a losing month, minus 13%. It was at the end of the year, so you know, had you started beginning of the year, that would be absolutely nothing. But what if you start off and you have a negative 13%? Are you gonna stick with it? Do you have what it takes to stick with it and let it get it back and then some the following month, okay? Um, that's why I wanna show you these numbers. In 2017, here you go, the first month was negative 9.8. You would have started off in the negative, but look at this, the next month, double that. Profit, 17.5%, then 45%. Look at this, two months, it did over 100%. Now, if you would have gave up right here, you would have never seen any of this. So just keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. Uh, these numbers are very valuable because it tells you, um, it gives you an idea, should I say, what to expect long term. Okay, again, this is the past, doesn't guarantee anything in the future, markets change, but it's definitely very, very helpful. Okay, um, this is, uh, oh, okay, this is just going up to January uh, that, that they had it, so. Okay, what else did I wanna show you here? Oh, okay, here we go. This is where I got the 75% from. Um, longs would be a buy, shorts would be a sell. 75%, 73% winning on all the trades. 20,000 trades, out of 20,000 trades, that's a huge sample, it's hitting 75%. That is a, an awesome, awesome sign 
of a profitable um, EA. Okay, uh, EA stands for Expert Advisor. That's the software. Okay, uh, so I just wanted to show you guys that, um, and this is absolutely ridiculous in the aggressive settings. Uh, like I said, averaging thirty-eight percent a month. It's crazy. Here's the moderate settings. Not too shabby. Twenty-three and a half percent over three years per month. <laughs> Highest drawdowns, only 23%. That means at any one time, the most of your, uh, your account that would have been at risk is 23%. Okay? So if that's more your risk tolerance, it's okay to sacrifice um, you know, some of the, the, the profit potential. 24% is you know, nothing to uh, shy, shy away from there. That's, that's an amazing, amazing return. If you want to go super conservative here, at a quarter of a percent per trade, it's still averaging 12% per month over three years. Drawdown under 12%. That's crazy. That means if you had a $1,000 account, you never risked more than $112 or $120. Crazy, crazy. That is absolutely nothing, okay? So these are just all fantastic, fantastic results. Um, I wanted to show you guys, and I want you to understand how the numbers work, okay? Give it the time to do its thing. Um, when the market opens tomorrow, I, I'm not even worried. If, if I lose half those trades, if all of those trades go in the negative and stop out, I don't care. I have the confidence here. I have the data in front of me. I know, you know, um, I've been in the markets a while. I, I trade on my own as well. Um, so, you know, I don't let the emotion uh, get to me. Okay. Do I want them to win, turn around and go in the profit? Absolutely. Of course I do. You know, but um, you can't control it. This, this is not, the software is not a magic crystal ball, okay? It can only go by, use the data it has and make a high probability decision. And over the course of time, it will be right on average 75%. Mine right now is over 80%, but again, I only had 76 or 77 trades, okay? So once I have a few hundred trades under my belt, then I'm going to have a better idea of the winning percentage. These were all with a thousand hour deposit. So look at this uh, turn into seventy four thousand dollars or seventy two thousand dollars over three years off of a thousand dollars, guys. One thing I want to sh wanted to, meant to show you over here in the, in the aggressive. Your account's not going to get here. You're not going to turn a thousand into one hundred forty eight million dollars or, or was that fourteen point eight million dollars? And the reason being is because the lot size that this is using at this point is thousand dollar lot size. It's grown so high that it's betting, I'm not betting, it's trading at a thousand, a thousand lots per trade. Most brokers will not let you go over a hundred, some of them 200 lots per trade. But you're not gonna have to worry about that. You get to a hundred lots per trade, that's a thousand dollars a pip. Um, that's basically, you're making 10,000, uh, uh, yeah, you're basically making 10,000 on every winning trade. That is insane, okay? And this does like 100 trades a week. So, um, so you don't have to worry about not being able to go to 1,000 lots. I would highly suggest you have multiple, multiple accounts with different brokers once you get into, uh, you know, $40,000, $50,000 and up, okay? All right, guys. Um, I, I wanted this to be as informative as possible for those of you that are, um, you know, doing your research and deciding whether this is something that's for you or not. Or those of you that have got on board, uh, but you don't know what the heck you're looking at. <laughs> or you want to understand, hey, why, you know, why are these people having this result and I'm not getting the same? Well, they came in at a different time. If you both came in at the same time, on the same day, the same setting, uh, then yeah, your results should be similar. But again, there's broker situations. If you have a broker with a high spread, that's going to cut into your profits. Um, uh, broker manipulation a lot be careful a lot of brokers out there they will uh when they know you're running an ea a software sometimes they'll mess with your trades i don't have that problem never have with this broker so um oh and you guys if you are uh you're not on board yet and um you want to get on board um and you want to join my team i do have a telegram channel uh i i'll i'll probably post it below this video might even put it in, it might even be on the screen right now. Maybe I'll remember to put it on, in the video here. And feel free to join my, my Telegram channel. Um, it's basically for my passive trading. I have a few different platforms of passive income. I just opened the channel after joining this. So right now, I'm, it's 
pretty much uh, brand new and it just has information regarding this software, okay? But I'm going to do a lot of testing. I'm gonna put my weekly results in there, um, little tips and tricks. If I try something out that works good, um, you know, all that, you know, it's gonna be lo have loads of information in there for you. And of course, you're also going to have uh, information eventually on my other couple platforms. It's always good to diversify, guys. Um, that way, if you have one of them that's currently in a drawdown, you, you know, your other two platforms are, are killing it, you know, it's just really good to uh, be, be fully diversified. This is all that I do. This is my bread and butter. This is how I, I make, my, you know, make my living. I don't have a job, a J-O-B. I don't uh, go anywhere and, you know, to produce a paycheck every week. This is it. So I have to protect myself and be diversified, okay? So hopefully this, um, I gave you guys a lot of information. Hopefully I didn't confuse you. Feel free to reach out to me. Um, you know, I'm not a keyboard warrior, if you will. I have all my contact information um, there. Feel free to call me, leave me a message. I will call you back. Just please tell me what it's in regards to, okay? If it's in regards to the software or what have you. And... Uh, that being said, guys, that's it for now. Happy trading.